My brothers, sisters, and friends, we truly thank and praise God for blessing us to come back to you once again. We thank God for his many blessings that he's bestowed upon us. And it is again that God has blessed us to come back on tonight. All right, we are um, coming back tonight with video number three, hopefully the conclusion of the matter. We've been talking about St. John chapter 3, verse 13. Uh, we have been talking about no man hath ascended up into heaven. So let's take our Bibles and go back to St. John chapter 3, beginning at verse 13. St. John chapter 3, beginning at verse 13. <clears throat> All right, St. John chapter 3. Beginning at verse 13 says, And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. All right, now we have been hearing a conversation on this scripture. Uh, questions have been asked about as to whether Jesus went to hell or not. And also, uh, did any man go into the heavens other than Jesus? All right. Uh, and that is referring to Enoch, Enoch and uh, Elijah. <clears throat> All right, so it says, And no man hath ascended up to the heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. All right, now let's look at that verse again. And no man hath ascended. Now I've been, I've been uh, meditating on this, on this verse and looking at this verse. And I have come to the conclusion that uh, no man and no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. No man hath ascended up to heaven. Uh, when we look at that word ascended, uh, it's talking about no man has gone up on his own power. All right, Jesus Christ is the only one that ascended to heaven. He is the only one that descended from heaven and ascended to heaven on his own power. All right, now Enoch and Elijah did not ascend to heaven. They went into the heaven, but they didn't go on their own power. All right, they were taken up into heaven. All right, uh, Enoch was taken and Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind. They didn't go up on their own power, see? So Jesus Christ is the only one that ascended to heaven and descended from heaven on his own power. All right, everybody else had to have help. But Jesus Christ is the only one that ascended and descended. So he said that no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the son of man, which is in heaven. It didn't say that no man is in heaven. It said no man hath ascended up to heaven. And so I think we should focus on uh, the fact that it said no man hath ascended. No man has gone up on his own power. All right. To heaven. Uh, everybody was either taken up or went up, but by the power of God or with some help by the angels. All right? Uh, so it doesn't mean that no man is in heaven. That scripture is not saying that no man is in heaven because there are many men in heaven. There are many people in heaven now. Glory to God. And we're going to continue to take a look at that. So we're sending this message tonight to uh, uh, Elder Murray, uh, Elder Murray was saying to you, my brother, that uh, everybody that dies in the Lord goes to heaven. And Enoch is in heaven. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't know whether Enoch is in heaven or not, but we do, we do know that Elijah is in heaven. Because the Bible never said that Enoch was in heaven. It said he walked with God and uh, God took him. It didn't say that he was in heaven. We just assume that he's in heaven. But we no, do know that Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind into heaven. Now, as to what heaven he went into, uh, we don't know. All right. Uh, the first, there are three heavens, right? The first heaven is uh, what? 
uh, the, the clouds. The second heaven is uh, the space, is space. And the third heaven is where God dwells. All right, it's the dwelling place of the Lord. So uh, we can only assume, we can only assume that he went into the third heaven uh, because uh, he, he was taken up uh, by the angels. So we can only assume uh, that he went into the third heaven because that's where the angels live in the third heaven. All right. That's the place that God has prepared for us. So, uh, you know, somebody can debate and say, well, you know, he he's flesh and blood. Well, and the Bible say flesh and blood cannot enter. Well, you know, there are always some exceptions to the rule. All right. There are always exceptions to the rule. God can make exception to the rule. He can make exceptions to the rule. All right. So that could be an exception to the rule. Glory to God. We don't know. All we know that he did go into heaven. Now where in heaven he went, we can't really say, but he did go into heaven. All right, now let's take our Bibles and go to Gen uh, Genesis chapter 5, verse 24. Genesis chapter 5, verse 24, as we continue to talk about, No man hath ascended into the heavens, but he that came down, all right, Jesus Christ. St. John chapter 3, verse 13. All right, Genesis chapter 5, verse 24. Genesis chapter 5, verse 24 says, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. So we see in Genesis chapter 5, verse 24, it never said that Enoch went to heaven. He said he walked with God, and God took him. Now where did he take him? It does not specify as to where God took him. It says that God took him, but it, it doesn't tell us where God took him. So we only assume that God took him to heaven. All right, now let's go to um, uh, uh, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 11. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 11. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 11. All right, and this is what it says. It says, and it came to pass as they still went on and talked, and behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Verse 12, and Elijah saw it, Elisha saw it, and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. All right, verse 11 again. And it came to pass as they went on and talked, and behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. So the Bible says that Elijah went into heaven. Now, uh, we can only assume that he went into the third heaven, that is the abode of God, uh, because we said that the first heaven is what the clouds, the second heaven is space. So we can only assume that he went into the third heaven. Uh, he was taken up uh, by the angels. There appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. So he went up with help. He didn't go up on his own like Jesus ascended and descended on his own power, of his own power. All right, he went up with help, Elijah did. But he did go into heaven, the Bible says. So if the Bible says he went into heaven, he went into heaven. Now, as far as which heaven he went into, we can only speculate. But we can only assume that he went into the place where God abode and the angels abode. All right, now let's take our Bibles and... uh. <clears throat> Go to um, St. Luke chapter 16, verse 22. St. Luke chapter 16, verse 22. I'm sorry. Let's take our Bibles and go to Acts chapter 2, verse 27. Acts chapter 2, verse 27. 
and we're going to talk about, we're going to finish up tonight on this subject of hell and paradise. All right? Where do we go when we die? Uh, Elder Mary said that we remain in the grave, but the Bible does not teach that we remain in the grave. Our, our bodies remain in the grave, and we are not our bodies. We live in our bodies. Our bodies and we are two different things, all right? We live in the body. To be absent from the body, <clears throat> excuse me, is to be present with the Lord. So the very fact that you can be absent from the body and present with the Lord suggests that the body and we are not the same thing, all right? Uh, so we're going to Acts chapter 2, verse 27. Acts chapter 2, verse 27. And this is what it says. It says, Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither will, thine, uh, neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. All right? Jesus said, Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. He's talking to God the Father. He said, You will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. All right? So Jesus' soul was not left in hell. The very fact that Jesus' soul was not left in hell suggest to us that Jesus' soul was in hell. Jesus died and went to hell as all the saints of God in the Old Testament did. They died and went to hell. All right, hell was a place for the good and the bad, for the saved and the lost, except the saved people went to Abraham's bosom or paradise, and the lost folk or the sinners went to hell that is, they went to Sheol or Hades. The Greek referred to hell as Hades. And the Jews referred to hell as Sheol. All right? That was the place of torment. Jesus did not go to that place. He went to Abraham's bosom or paradise. All right? Now, we must understand that there were two paradises. There were two paradises, and we're going to take a look at that. And the very fact that Jesus went to Abraham's bosom or paradise, all right, will, su will suggest to us that there is, there are two paradises that he did not go to. Jesus, uh, when he died, he did not ascend to paradise, but he descended to paradise. See, he did not ascend to paradise when he died. When he first died, he did not go to or descend uh he, I'm sorry, he did not ascend to paradise in heaven when he died. He, de he descended to paradise in hell when he died. All right, he did not ascend to paradise in heaven when he died. He descended into the lower parts of the earth, which is paradise down there, where the Old Testament saints went. All right, glory to God. So Jesus uh, said that God the Father would not leave his soul in hell, in Acts 2, 27. Now let's go to 1 Peter 3 and 19. 1 Peter 3 and 19. Now we are looking back at some of these scriptures we've already looked at real quick. 1 Peter 2, I'm sorry, 3, 19. We hope that you're turning with us in your Bibles on tonight. 1 Peter 3, 19. Now we are making it plain and showing you in the Bible that there are two, have two paradises, and that when Jesus died, he went to hell. All right? Elder Murray says that Jesus did not go to hell. All right? But the Bible says that he did go to hell. Elder Murray said when we die, we don't go to hell. We go, we don't go to hell or heaven. We go to the grave. All right? Because he says that we have to wait until the uh, judgment day. All right? Now, our bodies have to wait until judgment day, but our soul and spirits do not have to wait until judgment day, all right? They either go to heaven or they go to hell, all right? If you're lost, you have not been born again, you descend to the lower parts of the earth into hell. Remember the Bible teaches us that hell has enlarged herself? Well, now there is plenty of room in hell now because there is no more paradise, and that's why the Bible says that hell has enlarged herself. See, room has been made for all of those who are going to hell. All right? Hell has accommodated 
all of those that are coming to her. She has made accommodation for all of you who are coming to her. That's why she has enlarged herself, made herself bigger. See, nobody, uh, God, the, the saints do not go to paradise anymore in hell. They go to paradise in heaven when they die. All right, so uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 19. And this is what it says. It says, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. So Jesus went and preached unto the spirits in hell. That is what it's talking about when it said in prison, in hell. All right, which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah when the ark was preparing wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. All right, now those eight souls that were saved by water were in hell, all right, in Abraham's bosom, all right, in prison. All souls, whether they were lost or saved, were in prison. They were held by the devil. And we find that in what? Ephesians chapter 4, I'm sorry, Hebrews chapter 2, Verse 14. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14, right real quick. And then we'll go back to where we were. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 4, verse. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. See what it says. All right, this is what it says. It says, For for, for then as the children for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself, uh, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, to deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. See, everybody that died and went to hell were were held in bondage by the devil, all right? And this is what it's talking about. All those that are flesh and blood, all right? Children of the partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself, Jesus, um, likewise took part of the same, that is, flesh and blood, Jesus did, all right? He came down as a man, all right? Uh, that through death, through his death, he might destroy him, who is him, the devil, that had the power of death. He had the power of death. He was holding all of the uh, people in hell, all right? Glory to God, all right? He was holding them, in, he was holding, uh, let's, let's say specifically holding uh, those that were in paradise, holding the saints of God, all right? That is, uh, the devil was holding them. All right, and delivered them who through fear of death, Jesus delivered us of them, all of us through fear of death. Of course, we, we have conquered death because he conquered death. Fear of death uh, were uh, all their lifetime subject to bondage. So we were all a lifetime subject to the bondage of death and the bondage of Satan. So Jesus went to hell and preached to them and loosed those that were in paradise, in hell. As we said, there are two paradises. All right, now let's go back. Uh, where were we? Where were we? We were talking about uh, uh, Second First Peter three nineteen. We are taking a look at that, and now we're going to Ephesians chapter four, verse eight. Let's go to Ephesians chapter four, verse eight. All right, Ephesians chapter four, verse eight. And this is what it says. It says, Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, see, he ascended up on high, that is when he ascended to the paradise on high. He ascended to heaven on high. He ascended into the third heaven. All right? Paradise. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. So when he first, he descended into the lower parts of the earth, into hell, and he got those that were uh, captive, cap, uh, captivity, all right? He took captivity captive, those that were in captivity, he took them captive, that is, he brought them out of hell, 
out of paradise, out of Abraham's bosom, and took them to heaven. All right? Glory to God. And before he went into the heavens, he gave gifts unto men. All right? Look at verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? See, he descended first into the lower parts of the earth, which is hell. Remember? God the Father told him he would leave his soul left in hell, so he descended there. That's what he's talking about. So he descended first, and secondly, he went and ascended into the heavens, set on the right hand of God the Father. He had all of those that were in Abraham's bosom paradise in hell with him. All right? So he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might feel all things. All right? Now, glory to God. Now let's leave there and go to Hebrews chapter 2 and 14. Did we, we've already gone there, so we, we won't go back there. All right, but now let's go to Luke chapter 16, verse 22. Luke chapter 16, verse 22. We're going to look at the two paradises. All right? And this is going to prove that there was a paradise in hell, Abraham's bosom. Let's go to Luke chapter 16. You know, uh, a few days ago, we looked at the story of the rich man and Lazarus. All right. So this is going back to Luke 16, verse 22. Luke chapter 16, verse 22. All right. This is what it says. It says, uh, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. All right, look at verse 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died. The beggar, the beggar was Lazarus. All right, he was a, he was a Christian. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was saved. Let's put it that way. Uh, in today's term, a language, he, he would have been a Christian. Uh, he was a child of God. He was a saint. And it came to pass uh, uh, that the beggar died and was carried by the angel into Abraham's bosom. Abraham's bosom is paradise. All right, he was carried by the angels into hell, into Abraham's bosom. All right, all right. The rich man also died and was buried. Now, now the rich man died and he was buried. We see that there is no mention of the angels carrying him into Abraham's bosom or paradise. All right. So he didn't he didn't go into Abraham's bosom or paradise, but he did go to hell, where the rich man. I mean, where the uh, poor man, where Lazarus went also, except he was in a different compartment, all right? But they were both in the same hell because everybody had to go to that hell because the devil had us in bondage, all right? Okay, now, so let's leave there and go to uh, Luke 23, 43. Let's turn a few chapters over to Luke 23, 43. All right, Luke 23, 43. All right, and this is what it says. And Jesus said unto him, let's start at 40, uh, let's start at, at 41. I'm sorry, let's, let's start at uh, 39. Let's start at verse 39. <clears throat> okay, uh, and one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us, all right? This is one of the thieves on the cross. He said, if thou be the Christ, save yourself or thyself and us. All right, verse 40. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? All right, the other thief on the right said, Don't you fear God? Verse uh, 41, he said, You see, you're in the same situation as we are. Don't you fear God? Verse 41. Uh, uh, he said, and we indeed, and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. All right. Verse 43. I'm sorry. Verse 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Verse 43. And Jesus said unto him, verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. All right, Jesus said, told that 
uh, thief on the right, he said, today, this day, today, you're going to be with me in paradise. Now, what paradise was he talking about? Well, he was talking about the paradise we have been talking about, the one that's in hell. All right, Abraham's bosom, that paradise. So Jesus told that thief on the cross that he was going to be with him in paradise. He was going to be with him in hell in paradise. He was not talking about in heaven because when Jesus died, he didn't descend. He, I'm sorry, he did not ascend into heaven. The Bible said he descended into the lower parts of the earth. We just read that. All right. And it said that he descended before he ascended. So if he descended, he would have had to descend into this paradise, into this hell, because he told the thief, you're going to go with me today and be with me in paradise. All right. Now, let's look at... um. Let's look at uh, St. John chapter 20, verse 17, and we're going to see something here. St. John chapter 20, verse 17. Just keep in mind all right, what, what Jesus told, into the, told the thief. All right, St. John chapter um, 20, verse 17. We're talking about the two paradises. All right, St. John chapter 20, verse 17. This is what it says. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. All right. So Jesus said, touch me not, for I have, I have not yet ascended. All right. Unto my father. So Jesus had not ascended to that paradise. All right. So we, we so when Jesus said the thief, you're going to be with me today in paradise, we know that it wasn't that paradise because Jesus had not yet ascended. All right? He had not yet ascended into paradise. He told the woman, he said, touch me not. Told Mary, touch me not, for I, have, I am not yet ascended to my father. All right? But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. So Jesus had not yet ascended. And remember the scripture said he had the first descend. All right, so he descended into paradise. Glory to God, hallelujah. And so he told that thief, today you're going to be with me in paradise. Now we see right here in 20 and, and uh, 17, Jesus was by himself. And he said, I, haven't, I have not yet ascended. So where is the thief? See, where is the thief? Well, the thief, glory to God, had already, I'm sorry, the thief uh, had not uh, been ascended yet. He was, he had not ascended into the heavens yet. All right. He had not ascended into the heavens yet. Glory to God. So he could not have been talking about that paradise. All right. Now let's look at Revelation chapter two, verse seven. Let's look at Revelation chapter two, verse seven. So we see the two paradise. We see the we see the first paradise right there. Now let's look at Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. And this is what it says. It says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. So we see there's a paradise of God where the tree of life is. All right, the tree of life is in that paradise. Glory to God. And so that is where Jesus had not yet ascended into the third heavens. All right. Into the third heaven. Uh, into paradise. He had not yet ascended there yet. But he descended. See, you don't descend uh, into that paradise. You ascend to the paradise uh, of life. All right. Of God, you ascend. All right. But Jesus said he first descended. And when he descended, glory to God. He descended into that paradise with the thief. All right. Now, remember, when he ascended, he took the captives with him. All right. So somewhere between the time he talked to Mary and told him, told her not to touch him. Somewhere between that time and the time that he uh, descended, uh, ascended into heaven. Uh, he the Bible tells us that he took captives with him. That is the same time that he gave gifts to men. All right, so when he ascended up there, that's when he took uh, the thief and all the rest of those captives that were in 
paradise in Abraham's bosom. All right, my brothers, sisters, and friends, so there we have it. We see that Jesus descended into the lower parts of the earth, into hell, into Abraham's bosom, and got those uh, uh, cap took captivities captive and brought them into heaven, all right? That paradise of God. All right, my brothers, sisters, and friends, we'll see you on the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.